Hello everyone, this is Husker Eurocat welcoming you back to MetLife Stadium for week two of the 2021 New York Jets franchise on Madden 20 for the PC. The Jets have spent a week preparing for Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. Cam is coming off an excellent performance in a four point win against the Seahawks in Seattle. He's going to need to have another excellent performance since they're down two halfbacks with Christian McCaffrey being one of them. Can the pass defense of New York come through and get a win against the pass-happy Panthers? Can Sam Darnold put a four-interception performance behind him and do what's needed to find his own teammates? Let's find out as the Jets play host to the Panthers here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. The Panthers won the toss and they elected to take the ball and at the 25 yard line, Newton is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Cashman and Bryant make the stop and here again, Newton breaks free and he's out to the 50, 40, 30 and the last man possible to catch him was Jamal Adams. A 52-yard run, and that what makes Cam Newton so dangerous. For a third play in a row, he tries it to run it himself, and is taken down by Quinn Williams. The pass, oh, and Perry Nickerson was just a little bit too Aggressive as he draws the defensive pass interference. Across the middle, Newton finds DJ Moore. After a holding call on Trey Turner, the pass is complete to Ian Thomas, but he can't get to the sticks. The throw into the end zone and broken up by Perry Nickerson. Fourth and goal, and out comes Kimi Fairbairn and he puts a 30-yard field goal through. And the Panthers take the early lead three to nothing. Darnold with Bell in the backfield. He takes it around the left side. First down and out of bounds at the 38. 13 yards on the carry and just a little surprised that they ran outside on it. And that one is complete over the middle to the 47 yard line of the Panthers, complete to Chris Herndon. Fake handoff, Darnold goes long and it is incomplete, broken up by Trey Boston. The punt inside the five and down at the six yard line. Corey Vedvik is Definitely an asset to this Jets team. Pass from Newton over the middle, complete. Thomas makes the catch. And off goes Newton again, taking the ball to the 34-yard line. A 15-yard scamper, giving the Panthers another first down. A completion out to the Thomas and he is out of bounds at the 48. Newton goes long and that one is broken up by Tremaine Johnson. The second down pass goes out to Curtis Samuel out of bounds at the 36 and another first down for the Panthers. Newton back to pass and that one's broken up by Brian Poole. Fourth and five, and out comes Fairbairn. This time for a 48-yard kick, and that one is good. After a jet three and out, Panthers have it again, and Newton goes up the middle, and he gets out to the 38. Now on second and 11, the pass is out to DJ Moore, stopped by Jamal Adams finally pushed out of bounds at the 48. Newton takes the snap, completes it over the middle to Scarlett, coming out of the backfield. Second and nine now. 
And the throw into the end zone, and that is intercepted. Trumaine Johnson on the grab. Newton threw that just a little bit too long. And DJ Moore was just not in a position to catch it, but Jermaine Johnson was. That gives them the ball out at the 20-yard line in third and eight. The pass is complete to John Ross, out of bounds at the 41, and a first down. Now Darnold hands off to Bell. He goes up the middle, out to the 48. Second and three. And Darnold is sacked. Gerald McCoy gets to him back at the 40-yard line. Now it's third and 11. And someone got a little bit too aggressive. Malik Farr draws the defensive pass interference. Darnold on first down. Completes it out to Ross. Getting down to the 40-yard line, and that brings us to the end of the first quarter with your score, six to nothing, Panthers. Darnold fakes the handoff. Oh, and he takes off himself, and it's all the way, ooh, he took contact. And he seems to be okay. My goodness, that was a big hit. Crowder over the middle. Has an eight yard gain down to the seven. And Bell cannot make it to the first down marker. Fourth and one. Oh, and they're going for it. Darnold back to pass. Lobs it up there. Oh, in the end zone. And Crowder cannot hang on to it. Luke Keekley making the hit. And now from the six. Newton throws complete out to Scarlett. He has lots of room out to the 29 yard line. A first down for the Panthers and now they're out of trouble. Newton goes down. Back at the 19 yard line, Leonard Williams makes the sack. Pass goes out to Scarlett out of the backfield and he cannot make it to the sticks. Fourth and one, and that brings on the punt team. Now second and 12, Bell. Ooh, what a nice move. Out into the clear, and he's down to the 21-yard line. Seven rushes for 58 yards now on the afternoon. Darnold cannot make the connection with Crowder. That brings out Daniel Carlson for a 37 yard field goal and it is up and good. Six to three is your score now. Seven minutes, 15 seconds left in the second quarter. Scarlett with some tough running up the middle, finally stopped by Jamal Adams. Scarlett gets the call again and he has the first down out to the 40, Newton. Oh, and he can't be brought down until he gets the first down and inside Jet territory. Now after a holding call, Jamal Adams makes the play and a, the punt team comes on for the Panthers. Quadre Henderson is taken down, making a number of cuts on that one. He is so close to breaking one all the way. Donald throws over the middle, a dangerous pass. Complete to Chris Herndon though. Bell up the middle, gets the first down and Shaq Thompson is down and injured. And this could be big. They are taking him back to the locker room. So we'll have to get a report on that one. Bell takes it out to the 50 yard line. The Jets finding plenty of running room as Elijah McGuire takes it inside Panther territory down to the 36. Bringing us to the two minute warning with your score still. The Panthers on top, six to three. Now with an injury update, let's go to Eurocat baby. If you're a Panthers fan, this will not be good news. 
Linebacker Shaq Thompson will be out for the rest of the game with a serious shoulder strain. The doctors aren't sure, but this could be bad enough to keep him out for the next couple of games as well. For now, backup Jermaine Carter Jr. will be subbed in at that spot. Thank you for that report. And I know that it wasn't Luke Keekley that got injured, but that's still going to impact the Panthers' defense in a huge way. Let's see if Darnold can take advantage of the hole that Thompson leaves in the defense. Now on second and 11. Fake handoff to Bell, throwing long. Darnold hits Chris Herndon, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A 37-yard snag, and the Jets go on top in this ball game now. Boston tried to bring him down before he reached the goal line, but just no chance. Now Newton, back to pass, throws complete, out to Moore, and he's out to the 41. Second and 10. The pass over the middle is complete, out to Terry Godwin to the 49. And again to Godwin, inside Jet territory. And the Panthers take a timeout. Now in scoring position. That one is knocked away by Tremaine Johnson. Newton passes out to the right side. Complete to Thomas. And he is down to the 29. But no first down. Kaimi Fairbairn has to come on. And a 46-yard field goal is drilled through the middle. The Jets have jumped into the lead here at halftime, but it's not a big lead, just one point. Unlike a week ago, Darnold is finding his receivers instead of the defense, although he's been a little inaccurate at times. Both teams are establishing a presence in the rushing game, but the key is to continue that as the game goes on. Cam needs to get the passing game going if the Panthers are going to pose a serious threat in the second half. Will the adjustments made here at the break make a difference? Stay with us because we'll be right back. Welcome back to MetLife Stadium for second half coverage of our game between the Jets and the Panthers. This first half has been a tale of two quarters. The first dominated by the Panthers, the second by the Jets, and let's see who comes out the victor in the entire second half. After a holding penalty, the Jets have the ball at the 15 yard line. Darnold throws over the middle complete. Quincy Anunua all the way down to the 41 yard line of the Panthers. 20 yards after the catch. And that one's complete to Crowder over the middle to the 27. Donald hands off to Bell. Spin move. He makes Boston and Carter look silly. And he's down to the 19. Second and two. McGuire down to the eight yard line. First and goal. Donald throws into the end zone. Who, who is that in the back of the end zone? Oh, left tackle, Justin School. And they're going to check whether or not he was in bounds. There's the catch. Feet down. Oh, and that looked like a wide receiver catch to me. That was the prettiest little toe tap I've ever seen from an offensive lineman. And Marcus May with the interception back inside the 35-yard line. That is Newton's second of the day. And from the replay here, you can see the radar is activated. And May makes the catch easily. Now from the 35. The carry by Bell. Spin, I don't know what that spin was for because it certainly didn't do anything and that one is a 
run up the middle to the 16 yard line. Look out, Darnold goes down. James Bradbury coming in and making the sack back at the 24. Now Darnold on the screen pass. Le'Veon Bell takes it inside the 15 down to the 11. Third and six now. The throw lobbed up and Ross comes down in the end zone with the pass. Touchdown Jets. I thought for sure that was going to be intercepted by Jackson, but Darnold put just the right amount of air underneath it. Scarlett weaves his way up the middle and gets out to the 33. Third and five. Moore with the reception inside Jet territory at the 46th for his fifth reception. Newton tries a read option and is buried in the backfield. Second and 14 complete. Out to Thomas. Third and six now. The catch is made. Godwin down to the 27. Newton has this one intercepted. Brian Poole takes it back to the 31 yard line and that is his third of the afternoon. That isn't Sam Darnold over there on that side of the field, is it? No, oh, he's the quarterback of the Jets on the field now. And the ball is given to Bell. It makes a nice spin move out to the 49. Now well over 100 yards on the afternoon. McGuire takes it up the middle and he is injured. They're taking him back to the locker room and that one needs follow up as well. Bell with another spin move tackled by Keekley. Third and two and he drives through the tackle of Brian Burns for the first down. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. The Jets scoring 14 unanswered points. Yeah. Donald gets sacked. Kwan Short makes the stop back at the 44. It's fourth and 13. And they punt the ball away. Newton all alone in the backfield throws and this one is knocked away. Daryl Roberts on the deflection, the throw, and this one is intercepted as well. Brian Poole yet again for his second interception of the day. That one intended for Curtis Samuel, just thrown a little bit too far. And Brian Poole has another interception. Donald drops back, throws over the middle to Crowder, complete to the 19. And the Jets are in the red zone yet again. The handoff goes to Bell. He gets some room and he's down to the one. Stop just shy of the goal line. He is denied the score. McFarland takes it into the end zone. Touchdown Jets. And they take a commanding lead over the Panthers now. 31 to nine. Newton trying to bring the Panthers back. Throws and that one is broken up by Perry Nickerson. Newton standing tall in the pocket. Throws deep. And this one is knocked away, almost intercepted by Johnson again. Flag this time, and it is holding on the offense, and that will mean a turnover on downs. Now after a jet holding call, McFarland in the backfield, the pitch out going left, he gets inside the 30 yard line down to the 28. Bell out of bounds, no, he goes into the end zone. Touchdown Jets. 
They are certainly capitalizing in this ball game. Now ahead 38 to nine. Eight minutes left to go in this one. The pass complete out to Moore and inside Jet territory at the 47. A 28 yard reception. Back to pass again, Newton over the middle to Moore, down to the 30, to the 29 yard line. Another pass into the end zone, and that one is intercepted by Jamal Adams. That was a catch. Unbelievable one-handed grab in the back of the end zone, had to get his feet down in order for it to count. And oh my goodness, that is a picture perfect interception. Mullins now the quarterback. McFarland makes a nice move and gets the first down out to the 31. Bell can't get out of the backfield. Taken down by Bud Dupree, former Jet. McFarland can't get far, only out to the 25 yard line. That brings up fourth and 16 and they have to punt. Newton, back to pass again, throws short to Samuel, third and five. And that one is complete to Moore inside Jet territory at the 47 yard line. Fresh set of downs for the Panthers. That one complete. Geo Cheeks on the grab. And he's down to the 35. Third and 10 now. That one is almost intercepted. That brings on Kaimi Fairbairn and he is well short on a 52 yard attempt. Bringing us to the two minute warning 38 to nine. And we have an update from Eurocat Baby on the injury. This is really bad news for the Jets on both the offense and defensive sides of the ball. Running back Elijah McGuire has suffered a broken collarbone and will be out for six to eight weeks, waiting for that to heal. Leonard McFarlane is going to take his place on the roster for now. But even more impactful is the injury to C.J. Mosley. The doctors are saying that he could be out for a number of weeks, letting a dislocated elbow heal. Hoping to have a positive impact, Blake Cashman is going to see a lot more action as he'll be subbed in at the middle linebacker spot. Thank you for that, and uh, well, I guess it's time for Cashman to step up his game and see if he's able to complement the elite Avery Williamson at middle linebacker. Now with a minute 51 left to go in the game, Newton in the backfield, throws short across the middle to Scarlett, and does he have the first down? They take a timeout, and it remains third and one. Newton throws complete to Scarlett out of the backfield, and that is a first down out of bounds at the 29. Roberts intercepts this one, and he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Jets. 45 to nine is your score now. Cam obviously trying to make something out of nothing, and it's a little too late for that. Daryl Roberts takes that one to the house. Coach Rivera just can't believe what he's seeing. And that will bring us to the end of our ball game. Six takeaways by the Jets. And the defense certainly did a number on the Panthers this afternoon. What a second half by the Jets. While the offense was head and shoulders better than last week, the defense just played lights out football. When is the last time that you heard of Cam Newton throwing six interceptions in one game? Just not sure what was going on, but that was unreal. 
Sam Darnold kept his gun arm under control in this one, not throwing any picks. Not saying that there weren't some close calls, but this game was more like it should be. A little low on the completion percentage, but that was due to his rough start having some accuracy issues to start the ball game. It just seems that after his breakout run to start the second quarter, we started seeing a different man in the backfield. Speaking of someone in the backfield, Le'Veon Bell found lots of running room in this game, ending with 170 yards on 23 touches. He started out this season on a pace that, if he can keep it up, he'll be a sure leader for Offensive Player of the Year, I think. The Jets are going to need to keep him healthy because it's been confirmed that Elijah McGuire will be out for an eight-week recovery time frame. With Darnold having that success running the ball, maybe New York needs to try that a little more often. The passing game didn't get just a ton of yards in this game, but it was awesome seeing left tackle Justin School catch a touchdown. One of the few that he'll most likely catch in his career, and that's something that he'll remember for a long time, I'm sure. That brings us to the defense. Where do you start with a performance like that? Once again, we see Jamal Adams as the leader in the tackle category, but he had plenty of company right behind him. Six interceptions made for a lot of players getting a little glory today. Something that I was thought was kind of strange is that as good as the defense played, Leonard Williams was the only one with a sack in this game. And if you look at the stats a little closer, you'll see that the rush defense was the weak spot. But then again, they didn't allow a yard in the second half on the ground. So it just goes further in showing how well the defense played in the second half. Blake Cashman had a pretty good game in relief of C.J. Mosley, and if he continues to perform like that, it could prove to be very interesting when it comes time for Mosley to get back in the game, which could be close to six weeks. Daniel Carlson was once again spot on in the kicking game without a miss. I say that <laughs> as if it were a big deal. And it shouldn't be with six of his connections being extra points. But with what happened last season, it is a big deal. Let's just hope that trend continues through the rest of the season. Among those getting upgrades this week is Sam Darnold. Trying to get him to be a scheme fit, he gets a strong arm upgrade. Deep and medium accuracy attributes get a boost as well as break sack and awareness. Tremaine Johnson is finally at age 31 with a slot upgrade, a scheme fit cornerback. His biggest gain is in his tackling attribute and that will have what I think is a big impact with his contract extended last season through next year. Rookie defensive tackle Harvey Gabriel earns a run stopper upgrade with a plus three in block shedding and a plus two in awareness, plus a boost to his agility. And lastly, we have wide receiver Deontay Burnett, who gets a deep threat upgrade, a huge gain in his deep route running attribute. That is going to help immensely. The Jets try to sign Chris Herndon to a four-year contract worth just under $22 million, and he accepts. The next challenge for New York is remaining at home in MetLife to face the Atlanta Falcons. Matt Ryan, now in his 14th season in the league, has ascended to superstar X-Factor and could be a serious threat to the passing brilliance that has decorated the Jets so far this season. In his backfield, he has Devontae Freeman to slip the rock to, and while he still has superstar X-Factor Julio Jones to pass it to, 
the Falcons have had to make some serious cuts in the receiver core to keep him on the roster. So it should be fascinating to see how that phase of the game goes. This is where a rookie Pearson Duncan surfaced, and Jack Willig is definitely going to have his hands full defending that guy. <laughs> and something we need to be watching closely. Other standouts include Deion Jones at middle linebacker and Keanu O'Neill at strong safety, so Darnold will really need to play like he did for the last three quarters of this game against the Panthers to have a successful day. And I'm not so sure the middle of the field is going to be the place to throw the ball next week. That's going to do it here from MetLife and bring this episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freak Sports Network to a close. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of new videos as they come out. New York is coming off one of their best performances, defensively speaking, as they've had in this whole series. Will that prove to be true against a team that has the talent of Ryan and Jones at their disposal? Can Bell continue to have an outstanding start to his season? To find out, be with me back here in MetLife when the Jets host the Falcons for the first time in this series. Until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew here, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now. And have a good day, everyone. <laughs>